myself Prayag Patel, working as an assistant professor in IT ICT department of LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. Now in today's video lecture, I will discuss about the last topic of unit number 2, Amortized Analysis. Now first consider what is the Amortized Analysis. The Amortized Analysis considers a not just one operation, but a sequence of operations on a given data structure. The time required to perform a sequence of data structure operation is average over all operation performed. So here consider the average case of the all the worst case input. So consider worst case as an input and consider the average of the worst case. So amortized analysis can be used to show that average cost of an operation is smaller even though a single operation might be expensive. Amortize analysis means find average running time per operation over a worst case sequence of operation. So here we consider this input sequence as a worst case sequence and find the average of the given worst case sequence. So here consider the three technique in the amortize analysis. First one is aggregate method. Second one is accounting method and third one is potential method. In aggregate method, a sequence of n operation take place or take the worst case time t of n. Amortized cost per operation consider the t of n divided by n because we have a n operation then total cost equal to t of n. Then for the one operation consider the cost as a t of n divided by n. Now second method accounting method. In accounting method assign the each type of operation and different amortized cost. So in accounting method, consider the amortized cost for each and every operation and each and every operation cost is different. Then overchange some operation, then store the overchange as credit or specific object. So here consider the credit for the object for remaining data. So then use the credit for your next operation or further operation means your credit will be utilized in your next operation. Next is consider the third technique as a potential method. In potential method, potential method is same as accounting method, but store the credit as potential energy means here in aggregate accounting method, we consider the credit in potential method, we consider the potential or energy in place of credit. Now consider the one by one method first for understanding of these three method consider one example of amortized analysis. An example is considered as a binary counter incrementing a binary counter. First step implement a k bit binary counter that counts the upward from 0 to n means here consider the k bit counter and total n element or n data is given and representation of this data into the k bit form. Second step is use array A of 0 to k minus 1 of bits as the counter where length of A equal to k. So here consider the bit 0, bit 1 up to the bit number k minus 1. A of 0 is the least significant bit and A of k minus 1 is considered the most significant bit. So here consider the one example of the binary counter. Now here understand what is the value of k. So here total 0 to 11 data is given. So n consider as a 11, 12, total 12 value. Now consider the value of k. The least significant bit means 0 bit consider as a your last bit, least significant bit and a of 7 consider as a most significant bit because this data is represented into the 8 bit form. So k minus 1 bit, k minus 1 means 8 minus 7 consider as a k minus 1 location. So 7 consider as a most significant bit and 0 consider as a least significant bit for the data 0 to 11. Now consider the increment cost and total cost. So here initially first column greens line consider as a your given decimal value. Now in second column consider the value from 0 to 7 as your value from representation of decimal to binary. So in zero row consider the all the value as a zero, eight bit representation of value zero. Then in row number one consider the zero 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 one means 
binary representation of decimal value one then two then three then up to eleven here consider the second column as a binary representation of given data zero to eleven now how we can calculate the cost here increment cost are there so increment cost means if we increment the value from zero to one then your how many number of bit will be changed so here initially in zero row all the value is zero in row number one last bit as a one so last bit is changed from zero to one so increment cost consider as a one because one bit is changed so how many number of value or bit will be changed is considered as a increment cost so here consider the increment cost as a one so total cost means increment increment cost plus old cost consider as a total cost so one plus zero equal to one now for the two how many number of bit change in previous two next so one to two there are two bit are change from first one to zero and second zero to one so two bit are change so consider increment cost equal to two and total cost equal to two plus one equal to three now for the three consider the increment cost equal to one then one plus three equal to four then for value four increment cost equal to three total cost equal to 3 plus 4 equal to 7 then 5 increment cost equal to 1 because only one bit are changed so here one value as a increment cost so 1 plus 7 equal to 8 then for 6 2 value then 10 as a total cost for 7 1 as a increment cost and 11 as a total cost for 8 4 as a increment cost and 15 as a total cost then for 9 1 as a increment cost and 16 as a total cost then for 10 2 as a increment cost and 18 as a total cost for 11 1 as a increment cost and 19 as a total cost so for performing the 0 to 11 digit data you can find the 19 as a total cost for increment operation so here remember this example for understanding purpose now first technique is aggregate method the running time of the increment operation is proportional to the input number of bits flipped. Means here consider the bit number 0, bit number 1. In previous example, here we consider bit 0, bit 1, bit 2 up to bit number 7. So last bit, bit number 0, how many times change? Bit number 1 will be changed how many times? According to this, you can find the which bit are changed how many times. So here consider the all the bits are not flipped at each increment operation but which bit has changed in particular operation so here consider the a of 0 means a 0 bit flip each time or each operation or each increment operation we can see in this example last bit change every time so consider this bit change for n times so next bit is a of 1 a of 1 bit means bit number 1 change alternatively so we can say that the bit 1 a1 flip at alternative increment operation then a2 flip uh, a2 bit flips only once for four successive increment operation we see in this bit number 2 after the four operation your particular bit will be changed so consider this as a a of 2 bit in general way we can say that bit a of i flips n upon 2 raised to i times in a sequence of n increment operation according to these three steps so here we can say that we for performing the n operation we perform this type of flipping into the particular bit for k equal to 4 here consider the k as a 4 means for bit representation and n equal to 8 means given data in this table as a 8 value so this is a binary representation and how many number of time your bit will be changed is considered as a third column number of bits flips so here consider the equation as a a equal to 8 divided by 2 raised to 0 plus 8 divided by 2 raised to 1 plus 8 divided by 2 raised to 2 plus 8 divided by 2 raised to 3 like this so addition of this for is a equal to 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 equal to 15 and in this table last value consider as a 15 for total cost so here match these two elements so our final equation for the aggregate method is a equal to sigma i equal to 0 to k minus 1 as a bit n upon 2 raised to i means n upon 2 raised to 0 2 raised to 1 up to 2 raised to k minus 1 so here this is a final equation for the 
find the how many time particular number of bit is flipped so here solve this equation and find the complexity so sigma i equal to 0 to k minus 1 you can perform the n upon 2 raised to i operation now consider the k as a infinity value then consider n as a constant so n as a constant then sigma i equal to 0 to infinity 1 upon 2 raised to i and 1 upon 2 raised to i value is approximately 2 because 1 upon 2 is a 0.5 then 0.25 plus 0.12 like this so addition of this to all consider as a 2 value so final answer is 2 into n so complexity is considered as a big o of n for performing the n operation we have a time big o of n then for performing the single operation we consider the time as a big o of n divided by n equal to big o of 1 so aggregate analysis now according to this equation we can find the approximately two value for the sigma i equal to 0 to infinity 1 upon 2 raised to i now consider the second method as a accounting method in accounting method running time of an increment operation is proportional to the number of bits flipped if we change an amortized cost of rupees 2 to set a bit to 1 so here consider the amortized cost and actual cost so for amortized cost we can consider the each and every operation cost is different so here consider the rupees 2 for the set bit to 1 means 0 to 1 cost equal to 2 when a bit is set we use rupees 1 to pay for the actual setting of the bit and we place the another one on a credit criteria so consider one as a actual cost and one as a credit at any time point even every one in the counter has a rupees one of credit on it so no need to change charge anything to reset a bit to zero as we can pay for the reset with the rupees one on it and at most one of bit is set to one in an increment operation so here consider the equation of the amortized cost equal to amortized cost equal to actual cost plus credit so remember this equation now what is the actual cost and what is the amortized cost here in binary counter example we have a two operation bit set from 1 to 0 and set from 0 to 1 so these two operation consider as a actual cost as well as amortized cost so first operation 1 to 0 actual cost equal to 1 and 0 to 1 actual cost equal to 1 but amortized cost consider as a different for each operation so 1 to 0 cost as a 0 and 0 to 1 cost as a 2 because 1 cost is 0 and second cost is 2 that's why here consider amortized cost is like this now same example for the binary counter example for the second method accounting method and same way you can find the increment operation on that and in this find the total complexity as a big o of n according to our previous calculation of the complexity now consider third method as a potential method in potential method potential method is similar to the accounting method in which the concept of the prepaid is used there will be potential energy or just the potential which can be released to pay the further operation so here in accounting method we consider as a credit in potential method we consider the potential or potential energy as a credit we associate the potential with the data structure as whole rather than the specific object within the data structure so here consider the whole data structure initial data structure consider as a d0 now for n operation we consider the data structure as a d0 d1 d2 up to dn as a data structure n data structure will be the data structure and c1 c2 up to cn denotes the actual cost so c1 to cn as a cost and d1 to dn as a data structure after performing the n operation so we can say that the initial data structure is a d0 then after performing the one operation data structure as a d1 after performing the two operation data structure as a d2 like this for each i 1 2 3 up to n we let c of i be the actual cost of the ith operation and di be the data structure the result after applying the ith operation to the data structure di minus 1 so d1 find from the d0 and perform the sum operation on d0 then next data structure is a d1 let here consider the potential function so potential function symbol is this 
so this is a consider as a potential function for the real number so potential of di is called the here consider the potential of value di now consider the equation for the potential method what is the amortized cost equation here consider the ci dash as a amortized cost and ci as a actual cost so the amortized cost of ith operation consider as a ci dash equal to ci plus potential of di minus potential of di minus 1 so here ci dash consider as a amortized cost ci consider as a actual cost and here potential di minus potential of di minus 1 consider as a potential change so here for initial value we can consider this equation now for the n value consider the equation like sigma i equal to 1 to n ci dash means that amortized cost of the n operation equal to i equal to 1 to n ci plus potential of di minus potential of di minus 1 now solve this equation so here consider the i from 1 to n ci plus here in sigma potential of di minus potential of di minus 1 means consider initially as a d of 1 minus d of 0 then d of 2 minus d of 1 then d of 3 minus d of 2 like this and last one is d of n minus d of n minus 1 so your resultant data is like potential of dn minus potential of d0 means difference between first and last consider as a total potential change so here potential of dn minus potential of d0 so here in this video lecture i will discuss about the amortization analysis three technique of amortization analysis thank you for watching this video